So I had the privilege of becoming a manager really young. Um, I taught for, for a while, and when I was teaching, I became our grade level chair and had to manage a lot of teachers. And then when I turned 25, I moved into our um, central office and became the manager of this onboarding team of six people, where I was 25 and everybody else on the team was between 40 and 55. They'd been doing this work for a really long time, and I was coming in as part of a new initiative to change things up. So as you can imagine, coming in was really difficult difficult because, um, you know, a lot of times change is really difficult for people. And to see someone who's 25, who's only really been in the workplace for five years to get a position like this is, I think, was something that was really, you know, kind of taken aback by the team. So looking back, I think um, the biggest lessons I learned as a manager that I've carried with me uh, through all of my other roles since then um, would be first to acknowledge and own that you're young and that you don't know everything. I think a lot of young people go in and they think that they know everything and they have all the ideas and they fail to really include and, and get input from the people that have been doing this a really long time and have gone over all of the you know roadblocks and road humps that are going to get in the way of success. Um, second, I would acknowledge and give credit all the time to everybody on your team but yourself. Um, I think that goes a really long way, especially with um, that generation of people, to make sure that when you're in meetings with your boss, when you're in meetings with lots of other people, that you're giving credit to the people on your team that are actually doing the work and not trying to take it as the leader because your team is going to work harder for you and they're going to believe in you more when, um, when they feel that you are advocating for them. Um, another thing I would... I would offer um, as advice to managing older people or managing people that are older than you are um, uh, is to model positive behavior and trust, especially when you're coming in. So I think a lot of times people have had really negative experiences with their managers. You're coming in as a new manager to a team that already exists. Um, to be vulnerable, to admit when you're wrong, to admit the things that you don't know, I think goes a really long way with people um, that have been doing this work for a really long time. And I think that's how you start to build trust on your team is to open up and to really um, to let people know where you where you are struggling, but also, you know, get their input. And last but not least, and I think this is like my biggest piece of advice in management is don't take a job that you're not ready for. I think it's impossible to get buy-in from teams, um, from people on your team if they don't believe in you. And if you don't feel like you're ready for the role that you're taking and you don't feel like you can do this role 100%, then you probably shouldn't take it because if you don't believe in yourself, no one's going to believe in you.